earlier this year, Singaporeans were introduced to the bike sharing scheme. I think around like maybe January, Old Bike was the first one to roll out their bikes. Afterwards came in Ofo. Then I think later on, um, Mobike came in. But after a while, uh, soon there were reports about mofos abusing ofos and, you know, things just went downhill from there. Or so it seems. But, you know, to really showcase what are some of the shittiest examples, I made a little montage. And the credits go to Stomp.com. Stomp.com, uh, the, the best source of information that I rely on. So here you go. <laughs> Now before any of you guys jump into wild conclusions saying that oh Singaporeans don't deserve good things oh Ofo should just off 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 Singapore and never come back to this wretched place no now j I I have a few articles over here that uh, have differing opinions uh, let's just show some of them. So according to this article from the new paper, we see the representative from OFO saying that they are rare cases and they get attention because bike sharing is still a new thing, like a fad. And then Mobike also says that misuse of its bike is rare, you know, but a GPS system helps them mitigate the issues if they arise. And then the general manager of Obike said that the bad cases get publicized a lot and the good cases go unnoticed. So we see that the three representatives both have no, it's not that extreme, their views. So I guess they might they won't be leaving Singapore anytime soon. <laughs> Is it safe to assume that? <laughs> and here's another article, this time from the Today Online website. The branch manager for OFO said that in terms of bike theft and vandalism, she believes that less than 1%, that it occurs less than 1% of users. Uh, call it, and if they look at their business in China as well, you know, it's something to be expected where some of the bikes get misused and you know what not. Yeah, and then they talk about the same thing, people blow it up, the people over-exaggerate, although the cases we see are still true to life. Huh? <laughs> so at the end of the day, I guess we just have to wait till the trial period ends and you know, if they want to, the three companies, they can release out statistics of how many bikes you know got misused, got abused, or are in working condition after they sent them out. But uh, if you guys go read the news and whatever, it seems like they aren't stopping their expansion. They are, they are sending out new bikes and other stuff, and it seems like they are willing to stay. So maybe a market does exist, and you know the losses incurred. You know, it's it's not that doesn't make that much of an impact compared to the profits. Hmm, maybe. Well, we just have to see. We just have to see. <laughs> 